Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com. And in this episode of the Automation Minute, we're going to talk about code duplication, specifically duplicating rungs inside of RS Logics or Studio 5000. Now here you can see a program from my Control Logics course, and in it uh, I have a very simple routine here to do some motor control. And now I want to add a second motor to my system. So I could just come in here and select my uh, three rungs and do a copy paste. And then I would, could go in there and change all the tag names, but there's actually an easier way to do that. So let me undo that. And this time I'm going to select my three rungs. I'm going to right click and I'm going to do export rungs. And I will go ahead and save those to a new folder. I'll call it export on my desktop here. Let's go ahead and export those. And now I'll right click and import those rungs. And here I get the option to actually change the tag names that uh, those new rungs that I'm importing will use. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll speed up the video while I do it. Okay, I've changed all the tag names, in a sense telling the software to create new tags with new alias addresses because this motor is wired to different, different inputs and outputs. So let's go ahead and click on OK. And now you can see I have my three new rungs with new tags and new alias addresses. And that, to me, is a lot easier than copy and pasting the rungs, especially if you have a lot of rungs or very complicated rungs, and then going through each of them manually and trying to edit them all. And, uh, you know, if, if, if that was helpful, and you want to learn all about the control logics, including how to write this code and, and use it and test it and how to set up communications and go online, flash firmware, and all of that, check out my control logics course over at pac-basics.com. And if you found this video helpful and you'd like to help me make more free videos for YouTube, then why not become a premium member and support the show for as little as $3 a month. And in return, I'll give you $10 worth of free downloads, including uh, episodes of the Automation Minute every month. And if you have a question on anything I did today in this video, the best place to ask me is over at the automationforums.com on the post I created just for this video. So feel free to ask me any questions you have there. That's the best place to ask me questions on the content of this video. And with that, that's it for this episode of the Automation Minute. Until next time, peace.